in the studio, Lloyd Cole and the Commotions. And they begin with the old television number, Glory. I can only presume that's the end. Glory from Lloyd Cole and the Commotions, absolutely live down in our basement. Great sound from there as well this afternoon. So thanks to Ted DeBono and Mark Farrow who are engineering that set for our live studio band today. Mm -hmm. The first number from them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were there yet, I'm, Richard. Of I'm here. I'm always here. Didn't you yeah. enjoy that first number? From I the did band? very much indeed. Terrific. And they're, they're blushing down here, but they're ready to do number number two. And this one is called Patience. Plastic coats and the pressures of life through lack of patience. I get the pressures of life. patience is a girl that I hate to love the way I do. But I do. She wakes me up in the morning, screaming in my dreams. She took her back. The pressures of love She beat me up And left me out in the pouring rain Without no keys Without no reason to go back again And she left me empty-handed I 
and she left me eight others. And not no money, not nothing but the blues. Because all the precious, I get the precious all by through lack of patience. I get the precious all by. The one thing she needed was happiness Well, I don't believe that she's happy Till she sees that I'm in distress Not now Not, not no patience And not no pressure I'll buy Through lack of patience I got no pressures at all That was Patience from Lloyd Cole and the Commotions. They're going to desperately get ready for the next song. But while they're doing that, uh, Lloyd, welcome to the programme. Sounding very good, by the way. Thanks very much. Uh, can you give everybody a name check along the way here to get, so everybody knows who's playing? Uh, on guitar, Neil Clark. On drums, Stephen Irvin. On keyboards, Blair Cowan. And Lawrence, somebody or other on bass. He's <laughs> heard of him somewhere before. How long has this lineup been together as it stands? Uh, since uh, the beginning of February. That's not an awful long time, is it? I mean, it sounds as though you've been playing together for ages and ages somehow. They're all very professional. <laughs> has it been a sort of long-term project, putting the group together to get the right line-up? Uh, yeah, it's taken about a year. And did you know what you wanted then when you started? Not really. <laughs> people always say this, so I don't know whether it's always true. So you were looking for the right people just to play with you, and somehow this all sort of gelled together, obviously. Yeah, something like that. The, um, <clears throat> the New York, York influences seem to be coming along the way a little bit. I mean, you did that television song at the very beginning, and uh, people have likened the sort of Lou Reed element in there. Is there some influence from New York at all in what you did? Uh, there's, there's, there's a certain influence, but, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's the influences that I mean, involve television and Lou Reed, and, it, and it, it rules out the New York Dolls and Johnny Thunders and that kind of thing. Selective influences yes. along the way. So how many live gigs have you played? About a dozen, I think. So, what's it like doing this? <laughs> I would imagine the pressure's a bit heavy, isn't it? It's quite terrifying, yeah. It doesn't sound like it, anyway. The, uh, the Melody Maker um, did a big sort of spread on you the other day, uh, and I wondered how you reacted to that, because they really were raving, weren't they? Well, it's kind of quite difficult to know exactly what you think about it at all at the moment. Uh, I mean, I was obviously quite pleased to be have my <laughs> face splashed all over it, but... Uh, I, it was quite a favourable review, so and I was quite pleased. The only thing that worried me a bit was that the last time the Melody Maker went mad about a band, I seem to remember it was Any Trouble. They were oh, was be, it really? They were going to be the, the next b biggest thing ever since, and it didn't happen. I just wonder if that puts extra pressure, unnecessary pressure, on you to have you know that sort of rave reviewing. Oh, I could, it doesn't really worry us at all. Really. It, it, it could go either way, couldn't it? So who cares? All right. Got to do a lot of uh, an extra live dates coming up, some new ones? Uh, we're going to do a tour starting on the 15th of June in Glasgow and finishing in London about two weeks later. But before that, we're doing a couple of guest appearances. Oh, where's that? Um, in Edinburgh on the 31st of this month, we're special guests to Bergie Bergie. Right. And then uh, Paul Haig from Edinburgh has uh, taken us down to Manchester the next day to be special guest to him. Excellent. All right, so plenty of people who, if they uh, enjoy today, can go in, they can go out and see you live. One more song, you can plug yourself in there, if you want to. <laughs> Thanks very much. One more song that you want to do. What one are you going to do for us, in fact? Well, we're going to do the single, obviously. <laughs> All right. A quick plug for the single. Gentlemen, thank you for coming in today. Take it away. Hang on. <laughs> oh, well, take it away when you're plugged in, of course. Yeah. Okay. Choose my friends, only far too well am upon the pavement. They're all down in the cellar with their government grants. And my IQ, they brought me down a size. Academia blues. Louise is a girl, I know her well. She's up on the pavement. Yeah, she's a weather girl, and I'm staying up here. So I may be undone, she's in a pro. 
I must say they're all grinning like dervishes in here, if you can do that. I don't know, I think I've mixed my metaphors somewhere <laughs> along the way. That was brilliant. They've got nothing to worry about, have they? Perfect Skin, Lloyd Cole and the Commotions, live this afternoon, and watch your local press for details of their performances. I'd love to see them in a club.